there guys, this is Reckles with One to Buy Gold, and today I am so excited to finally show you my legendary crafting spreadsheet. It is, it has been a labor of love, uh, something I've been wanting, working on, anyway. I've been working on this for a while now, um, and it is pretty fantastic. I'm excited to show it off. Um, so, the problem, the issue that we're trying to fix with this with this spreadsheet. Trade Skill Master doesn't really know how to restock the multiple rank things. I mean, this is, you know this. You can do some shenanigans with uh, specific operations and groups, but even that, it doesn't really, it, 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 has a problem with even that. So I'm gonna go log over to my uh, posting tune and we're gonna look at an add-on called Legendary Stock Tracker. That's going to be our starting point for this. Okay, here we are in Stormwind City on Wrecking Ball. And I just realized the other day that uh, I've had this tune for like two years before Miley Cyrus came out with Wrecking Ball. And that is not a current song anymore. That's getting to be an old song. So I have had this guy for a long ass time now. Anyway, anyway, so uh, there's this really cool add on called Legendary Stock Tracker, LST. And this is this is the the main thing it does. It's beautiful. You go in, you uh, you log into the tune that has your uh, your legendaries on it, and it keeps track of what you have of rank one, two, and three. It, it just go and look in your bank and your guild bank and uh, on the auction house and in the mailbox so it can get an idea of what you have. Uh, you can also let it know in the settings which things you want to ignore. Um, you can let it know how many of each you want to restock and the minimum profit, uh, all that good stuff. So it's really, really cool. But the problem with it is it tells you, here's all the things you need to restock, but what if, what if I don't know everything? If you have every single recipe at rank four, great, this works. But if you don't, then it's not, it's, it, uh, it's, it's lacking that little bit of extra touch. So that's where my spreadsheet comes in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take this export data and then we're gonna go over to my spreadsheet. Okay, here it is. So this is the spreadsheet. It's a little bit too colorful, uh, but I think that's just my style that I'm kind of discovering and, and falling into. I like a little pop of color. Uh, so we've got uh, the explanation of what to do up here. Uh, feel free to read those, but that's what, that's what we're covering in this video. So go down to the settings page and we're gonna paste in our uh, export right here. And it's just going to paste it into one column. So click the clipboard and split text into columns. So here's the clipboard down here, split text into columns, and then it just like uh, comma, comma diversifies or whatever it's called, shoot, um, separates. What that does, it just duplicates what the LST add-on was doing. Where the spreadsheet comes into its own is this bit right here uh, where you can select your known recipes. So I'm gonna go back over to my blacksmith so we can fill this in. All right, here we are back on Reckles. We're gonna get blacksmithing open. That was the OP add-on. Um, and so I have rank four of arm guards. That's rank one, rank four greaves. I think rank four sabatons. And then these are rank two. Okay. Rank two pauldrons, waist guard. Everything else is rank four. Okay. All right. So then we go back in here. Arm guards. If you select them and press space bar, they all get lit up. Um, there we go. Sabatons, these were rank two. And then everything else was a lowly rank one. All right, so now it knows the profitability of each item, the material cost of each item. It knows how many I have in inventory and it knows which recipes I know. So I can go in and I can say, make three of everything that is has zero profit. And so I know I need to make one of the pauldrons at rank two, two of the wastes at rank two, uh, the rank ones aren't profitable. These are, so it, it tells you what you need to do, but I'm gonna just say, uh, 
let's just say everything over 5,000 gold. All right, so we're going to need some shards, flux, uh, shadow gas ingots, and enchanted alethium ore, and uh, you can just buy them. But let's say I'm on a small server, so I don't really, in, like, they're way too expensive to buy the smelted stuff. So I'm going to go in here. This is where, uh, this is where the spreadsheet takes it up a notch. Uh, so uh, let's say my shards are, I'm just revered, so they're 106. Um, and the flux, I can get it for 7.2, but I normally just get it for the revered price. Uh, shadow gas ingot, I want to smelt shadow gas ingots. And I want to smelt uh, alethium ore. Uh, so the alethium, I don't want to buy that off the auction house. I do like mining in the maw because I have a druid, so it's just lickety split, easy peasy. Um, but and and I like mining this stuff. But honestly, let's say Bastion, uh, I just can't stand the Kyrian. Like it just it, it I I die a little inside anytime I have to deal with the Kyrian. Let's say Revendreth is a struggle bus to mine, so I'm just gonna buy the Sinvir ore. So there we go. We're gonna mine two of these ores, uh, buy two of them. It's a customized uh, 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 task list uh, for how I specifically gather materials. And here it tells you what you need to buy, what you need to mine, 158. Uh, 240 alethium, it tells you uh, you need 12,000 gold worth of shards, 2,000 gold worth of flux, 120 dust. Uh, but then here is the even extra step of the extra step. I went through and spent a lot of time timing things and figuring out uh, yields and, and the how to incorporate that into a formula. So you actually do see that you need to spend about 50 minutes mining in Maldraxxus, 50 minutes mining in Ardenweald, an hour mining in the maw for a total of two hours 40 minutes of mining and uh there you go so that should get you rolling one of the other really cool things I like about this spreadsheet is uh, you can just play around with numbers. So this is the last thing I'm going to show off. Uh, I had someone ask me in a, a, face group, a Facebook group I'm in why the... Uh, why the male helm was so expensive and the obvious answer is you know you can you can just select that and you can say well if you're mining it or, or if you're just going out and skinning one helm takes two hours of farming and five thousand gold in order to make so obviously like that like it, it's going to be expensive it's going to be you know at least 30k but one of the other things you can do with it is you can just say, like, all right, it takes two hours after after you've already made 15 of each of these, which is 36 hours of farming and 100,000 gold. So in order to have the right, that sunk cost is going to get rolled into uh, the the final price. Um, so you can do lots of fun stuff. You can, let's see, let's see. We'll, 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 we'll end... We'll end with this. How much does it cost to make one of everything? Okay, we've got everything zeroed out. We've got everything listed as profitable. And we've got everything over here set to farm. And let's just get exalted on everything. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so in order to level up every Every profession item to rank four, it requires <laughs> 2.8 million gold and 1,027 hours of farming. So uh, I, I, I got to get going and get get to farming because uh, we got some rank ups to do if we're going to if we're going to farm our way to rank four on everything. But I hope this was enjoyable. I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Good luck and happy gold making.